Google's keyboard app, Gboard, has a lot of cool features. One such great feature is the floating keyboard, using which you are able to make the keyboard float, resize and move on the screen. When you are doing a task where you need the most of your screen, you can use the floating keyboard. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to enable or disable the floating keyboard on Android. Before you proceed to further steps, make sure you have the latest version of the Gboard. Now, to activate the floating Gboard keyboard, open any application where you can type. Tap on the G icon on the top left of the keyboard. Then, click on the three dots icon on the right. Now, you just need to tap on the floating option. That's all. As you can see, my keyboard is now floating. You can use the four-way arrow icon to drag and move the keyboard wherever you want. When you tap on the four-way arrow icon, the corners will be highlighted. You can drag these corners to resize the keyboard. Once you enable the floating feature, every time you use the keyboard, it will be floating. If you want to disable the floating keyboard, just tap and hold the four-way arrow icon and drag the keyboard to the bottom of the screen. Bonus tip. If you are using the floating keyboard quite often, you can add the floating option on the top of the keyboard for direct access. To do that, tap and hold the floating option and drag it to the suggestion strip.